Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing soffit. So I'm just going to show you the process of how I'm going to do it. So I'm on the gable end. I've done all the bottom sections, which you've seen all the way through the run. So that's the bottom section of the box, which goes all the way through the front elevation. And it's got a series of holes in it for the vented soffit. So this is the detail here, the overhang, if you remember when I constructed the roof. So I'm gonna put insulation in between here because this would be a cold spot if I put ply up there and we don't want cold spots in any of this. Because otherwise if you get, let's say warm air rising and it's cold inside here, it will condensate and we don't want any of that guys, okay? So all I've done is measured the distance off these are 400 millimeter centers all the way down through the run. The pitch of the roof is 20 degrees, so I'll put a 20 degree, 20 degree cut down there and come all the way up to the apex right to the very top, okay? So the distance between here is 235 millimeters, but I'm gonna cut it at 232, just to allow for a little bit of wiggle room. So, Anyway, the cladding's gonna be coming up here and it's 60 mil wide by the time you got the battens on and the cladding. So it's gonna cover any little micro gaps you got in the ply there, guys, okay? So I'm just gonna take the 12 mil ply, which I've already prepared, down to the table saw, cut it on the table saw, mark up where all the, um, all the noggins are and go up there and fit it with some stainless steel mechanical fixings. Right, just come in 10 mil in from the end. You can gauge 10 mil. Just mark it up like that. So you can get a decent fixing. And then mark all your 400s. So 400, 800, 1200, 1600. And two meters, we can't get that anyway because that's sitting right down at a pinnacle point between the fascia and the soffit. So, and all I did is came in 50 mil in from both ends. So, because it's roughly a 230 mil board, it's 50 and 180, and that gives us same distance on both sides. Give or take one or two mil either side. That is perfect. So when you look up underneath the soffit, I'll show you in a minute, it's lovely and parallel all the way up through the run of your boards. So I'll show you that. So you can see the distances between about 50 mil all the way up through the run. So when you look up there, it's lovely and even all the way up through. All right. Now we just pre-drill our holes. As you can see, I put the insulation up there now in the void. I'm just gonna be fitting the ply all the way down through and it pushes up against that first rafter. So what that does now, that just eliminates all the cold spots through there. Okay, and I will continue it all the way up through and down through here. So I'll just take you down now 
fit the piece of ply and then we'll just continue that all the way through the run guys okay so let's put it down there so you can see what i'm doing i'm just gonna go get the bit of ply right let me just push it down there as far as it will go That's it. Now we'll just fix it up there with some mechanical fixings and we'll just keep going all the way up. And the joints will get glued as well. So just stops any water, potential water, getting in there. And it just makes a much better job, guys. Don't try and half ass it and think, ah, it'll be fine. Just make a good job. So it's pushed up. That's it. This will do the job. There you go. Lovely. And that'll be lovely and flat all the way up through there. So when we come to put our cladding on, we can just cut all the angles and you can mark out what's called the going. So when you figured out your lap, which on these boards, they're a given on the lap and you can just work out the diminish on all your runs. But I'll do all that when, the, when I come to do the cladding, which isn't for a while yet anyway. But you can see the basic principle Okay guys, so I've just got to continue up through the run. You can see nice even fixings all the way up through. There'll be a little box detail here. All right, so a piece of ply will come up there like that, 90 degrees off this, and then there will be a little fillet in there. It was just the barges, we can only get them at certain sizes. Um, and the size that I needed, they were out of stock, basically. So we just have to live with those size barges, I'm afraid, which leaves about a two inch gap down through here. So between this bit of C24 barge and the metal barge. So it's just one of those things you've got to live with. If I knew I couldn't get a hold of it, I would have changed this detail. So when the fascia, comes across you don't see any of the ply there it would have been on this side and the box would have gone up and you wouldn't have seen any different but it's just one of those things guys that you just got to get over so but it all looks good anyway i'll go show you the other end and to be honest it doesn't look half bad so there's the other detail so you can see the end grain of the fascia. I wouldn't have done it that way. I would have stopped it in against that rafter going up along the barge. And then, so the soffit would have pushed in against that barge and you wouldn't have seen any of it. 